Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. So we've discussed various editions of the Book of Mormon produced by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints out of Salt Lake City, Utah. However, there are editions that are published by other organizations also. In this episode, we will review one of the more commonly known ones. This is the current edition of the Book of Mormon produced by the Community of Christ, headquartered in Independence, Missouri. They have their own edition of the Book of Mormon, independent of any Salt Lake printings. Uh, the background on this group is that when Joseph Smith was martyred in 1844, most of the saints followed Brigham Young into the Salt Lake Valley a few years later. However, some chose to stay behind in Nauvoo and various Midwestern communities. Uh, many of these gathered together to form the Reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, eventually led by Joseph Smith's son, Joseph III. They eventually headquartered in Independence, Missouri, and have published their own Book of Mormon ever since the mid-late 1800s. In the turn of the 1900s, the Reorganized Church obtained the printer's manuscript of the Book of Mormon from Oliver Cowdery's estate through the Whitmer family, and published an updated edition in 1908 that became a benchmark edition for the reorganized church. The RLDS church continued through the 2000s where they internally changed their name to the Community of Christ, and this edition of the Book of Mormon bears the church's name accordingly. The beginning of this edition has various introductions, section highlights, and prefaces. The text of the Book of Mormon continues through page 364 with an index in the back. Another significant point is that this edition has different chapter lengths and verses are different than the Salt Lake editions. What I mean by this is that if you verbally read the text, it's basically the same, but the chapter or section breaks are different. The reason for this is that the original 1830 Book of Mormon was originally written in novel form, no verses, and very few chapters or section separators. It wasn't until 1879 that Orson Pratt separated the text into chapters and verses for the Salt Lake editions. At about the same time in the mid-late 1800s, the RLDS editions had their own chapter separations and verse sizings, but these were made independently of what Salt Lake was doing at the time. Uh, for example, the, this Community of Christ edition has seven chapters for the first book of Nephi, where the Salt Lake edition has 22. Once again, the, cha the text is relatively same. Um, the chapter sizing is different. First Nephi starts with, I, Nephi, having been born of goodly parents, and ends with, and thus it is, amen. So this is the current edition of the Book of Mormon published by the Community of Christ. This edition is available through Community of Christ websites and is carried by several church bookstores within Independence, Missouri. Some Missouri bookstores also have a cross-reference guide to help locate passages between Salt Lake editions and Community of Christ or RLDS editions. Thanks for watching this video. I hope to review various editions and printings of the Book of Mormon as time continues onward. If you have specific or unique editions of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed in the series, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.